Hi everyone, so I thought I would film a quick um, current favourites video for you. Um, it's just a complete mix of skincare and makeup and a few other things. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first of all, I'll probably start with um, skincare. So I normally use a Lazaro um, hot cloth cleanser, which I absolutely love. Um, but I thought I'd try something else and I noticed that number 7 do a hot cloth cleanser. Um, and I absolutely love it. You get 200ml, um, it's really gentle on your skin as well, so I absolutely love that. I'll buy that again. Um, and I just use a muslin cloth, and you can buy these in packs on Amazon, which is great. So I've got loads of them, and I use a new one every day. Um, I also really like their moisturisers, so I've got the Beautiful Skin Day Cream, I've got the Normal to Oily, and I've also got the Normal to Dry. Um, my skin is normally oily, but at the moment it's quite dry, so I kind of vary between them both. Um, and both have SPF in them, which is great. Um, sticking with skincare, I thought I would try the La Roche Posay, I think that's how you say it, um, SPF for your face, and it's 50 plus, which is amazing. Um, it's meant to be really lightweight, so that's why I thought I would try it. A lot of SPFs are really greasy. Again, my skin's really sensitive at the moment and I'm going on holiday soon and I don't want to burn my face. So I thought I'd buy this and try it and see how uh, see what it was like under my foundation and it's really lovely under foundation. Um, it just sits really nice, so yeah, really like that as well. Moving on to makeup. So I, what will I start with? I'll start with eyelashes. So I've been wearing these individual eyelashes a lot recently. Um, I bought the Duo Individual Lash Glue, um, which, is, which is amazing. The, you, you get a little glue in here with them, but it's so hard to, to use it. It's just a bit, it's a bit annoying. So I bought the big one, and I thought I'd start wearing individual lashes again. I think they, they look really natural. I think sometimes the strips can just be a little bit too much for daytime. My lashes are really short, so it's nice just to have a little bit of volume without them looking too fake. Um, so yeah, the Eyler Individual Lashes. And I also like the Ardell Lashes as well. Next is a tiny little eyeshadow from L'Oreal. And it's the Colour Riche L'Ombre Pure, I think. I think that's how you say it. In Quartz Fume 502. Um, but I really like it. It's a kind of metallic grey, dark grey, like a gunmetal grey possibly. Um, but it's really nice. So I've been using my MAC paint pot in Quite Natural and um, putting that all over my eyelids. And then I've literally just been layering this on top and blending out a little bit and a little bit underneath and that's it. And it's really fast and easy for me in the morning to do makeup that way without having to, you know, do lots of blending and shading and cut crease and all that nonsense. So this is a really handy little eyeshadow to have and it's tiny so you can just throw it in your bag. So I love that. Next, I'm so pleased I bought this. It's L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil Fresh Glow Bronzer. And that's it there. So it's a... It's one of these cushion um, applicators. I don't really know how to describe it. You're meant to use this little powder, this little puff that you get with it and just dab it on and do that with it. But I don't. I use um, the Real Techniques, what brush is this? Buffing brush. And I just dab it in and then buff it into the skin. But it's really natural and quite fair. Um, so I just like to have a nice glow without it being too harsh. I really, really love this. I was really surprised that I liked it, but I love it. Um, and I'll be taking that on holiday with me as well. Talking about glow, um, the next thing is the Benefit What's Up highlighter. And I spoke about this in my highlighters video that I did, a did as well. It's a really beautiful champagne-y kind of gold highlight. I really like that. Again, really nice for the summer and holiday. You can put it straight on or you can just dab your finger and put it on that way. And I'll be taking that on holiday as well. 
So these are kind of like holiday essentials also. Um, what else have I got? So I think that's, oh no, I've got uh, one other thing. Oh, I lost it. No, it's here. So my lovely friend Jillian sent me a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. She had an extra one, I think. Um, and she sent it to me, which I thought was really nice. She knows how much I love makeup and she's she's probably got more, if not the same amount of makeup as me, Jillian. It's crazy. Um, so it's Sexy Sienna and it's a really lovely peachy coral tone. I've got it on just now. It's a matte formula, so it's my lips are a little bit dry at the moment, so I can only wear it for so long. Um, but I really like it. It's really creamy. Um, I think it's just unfortunate that my lips are so dry because it is actually a very creamy lipstick. Um, and it smells so nice. I think it smells of vanilla. So yeah, I love that. It smells... Oh! It smells the same as the Tom Ford lipsticks. Which are equally as nice. Um, I've then got a pair of shoes that I just happened to find in TK Maxx. And they're from <coughs> Carvela. They're just tan sandals. They've got a block heel. Um, and they're strappy at the front. I really, really like them. Um, they're really easy to walk in. They were reduced from £90 to 30 which I thought was really good. I don't buy a lot of high shoes anymore, so I thought I would snap these up while I saw them. Um, I can't walk in stilettos anymore. It's just not worth it. My poor boyfriend has had years of putting up with me falling over or moaning about how sore my feet are, so I thought it was about time I started to buy sensible shoes. So I absolutely love them. I think TK Maxx still have some in, so... If you want them, go and have a look. The last thing that I've been loving is a book by the author Neil Gaiman and it's called The Ocean at the End of the Lane. So I I love reading and I'm absolutely um, obsessed with fantasy, fairy tale type stories. So anything that's just completely removed from reality I like to read. Um, and there's a bookshop near where I stay that has lots of amazing books. Um, so I really enjoyed this. It's a dark fantasy and it's about a, a little boy who becomes friends with um, a girl who lives on a farm that has a pond that she calls the ocean and the little boy doesn't believe that it's the ocean but it turns out it is blah blah blah. It's definitely worth, it's definitely worth reading it's, and it's quite dark. It's definitely a fantasy book for an adult. <clears throat> so I love that. I've bought... Um, one of his other novels and I'm probably going to buy the rest as well because I'm enjoying that one also. So yeah, that's all of my current favourites. If you've got any questions, just um, leave them in the comments box below and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks, bye.